During last month's program, we profiled a veteran's therapeutic garden located on the grounds of the VA Medical Center in Albuquerque. Well, that same New Mexico facility is also the host of a weekly growers market for veterans. Although it's a fairly modest operation, the market has helped to transform the lives of those who have been a part of it. Marine Corps veteran Tom Vesey returned home from Vietnam feeling lost and confused. Then things got really bad. I was barely going on 20 at the time, so, you know, that's when I decided to, I took up drinking to, to uh, take away a lot of the pain. I suffered with alcoholism for quite a few years. Tom says, in effect, that for several decades, he lost himself to addiction. After VA helped Tom cope with his alcohol problem, it then supported him in finding the equipment he'd need to start a beekeeping business. These bees, they bring an excitement and a joy. I didn't have any really friends. My relationship with my wife really was gone for a long time. And bees were something I could come home to and tend to and kind of love and take care of. Today, Tom harvests about 50 gallons of honey each year at his home south of Albuquerque. In recent years, he's been selling that honey right here at the Albuquerque VA. Yeah, when I first went to the growers market three years ago, I really felt welcomed by the staff there, and I felt really encouraged to be proud of what I got to offer the people. Tony, mm -hmm. he makes his own homemade honey. Yeah, I got my own hives. Do you want to try some honey? The affirmation that each of the, the veterans are able to get just from people coming by and saying, wow, this is really cool, or I really like what you've made or done, I think that's really, really therapeutic. VA's Reba Brain helped organize the market getting it up and running. And she's watched it grow into a small, friendly community. They're able to be with their friends, and they have a relationship with the person who's selling at the next truck or car. So that camaraderie is good. They have support from staff who come and really enjoy the food and the produce that they, that they provide. For some here, Albuquerque's VA Growers Market is the fulfillment of a life's dream. So well, this is your garlic, huh? This is our garlic, sir. You can smell or taste from here. I always wanted to be a farmer. My parents wouldn't let me. They made me go to school and do a lot of paperwork. But when I got about 40 years old, I started doing it. Another participant in the growers market is Navy veteran Charles Shahid. He cultivates green onions and other crops in his backyard north of Albuquerque. The challenge is to grow out in the desert. It's really hard. I mean, the farmers that do it, they either instinctively know what to do or they've learned it over years. I just enjoy doing it. It gives me a good feeling to grow stuff, to watch it grow. It calms me down. It really does. I, I know it calms me down. He and other like-minded veterans are getting involved in therapeutic gardening. And VA facilities like this one are expanding efforts to meet their needs. You want the fresh or the dry? You need the fresh. The connection between farming and the defense of our country has deep roots in American history. One famous early American veteran, General George Washington, put it this way, I'd rather be on my farm, he said, than be emperor of the world. For additional information about therapeutic gardens, like the one located at the VA Medical Center in Albuquerque, you can visit the website of the nonprofit group ACER Institute at www.acerinstitute.org.